Y'all, what is up everybody? Steven here with Bama Saltwater Fishing. I do just wanna say before we get into this video, this is a very special holiday. Everyone just to have fun, but also wanna say, make sure you remember what this holiday is really about. It's mainly for those that served and didn't make their way back home. So remember, have a safe and fun Memorial Day weekend. Y'all enjoy this fishing video and have a great weekend. Y'all, it is a muggy, muggy early summer day here in South Alabama. We went straight from like spring practically for like a couple days straight to summer. It is hot. So I need to load up the boat. It's the afternoon. It's about 3.30. Not gonna bore you anymore with the long intro. I'll see y'all out on the water. Y'all, so we just made it out. I'm only like 10 miles out, but I just found a little sargassum weed patch right here. I'm gonna actually get up here and throw a little spoon. This is a Shimano jigging spoon. Really cool looking thing. Looks like a little anchovy. And I have that little loop knot, 50 pound mono, 5,000 size reel. So let's see if there's anything hanging out on this grass patch. So that's a good thing. Oh, there's something crushing fish out that way. Oh, I have something already. Oh, it's a little chicken dolphin. <laughs> there we go little chicken dolphin heck yeah already check that little chicken dolphin out like i said gulf of mexico there's no size limits on mahi mahi he's pretty tore up from that jig so he's going to go in our cooler let's get another cast out there that is awesome heck yeah that is so cool he was pretty messed up usually i like to cull my fish get some with a little bit better size to them so if you never caught mahi before that small mahi or dolphin fish dorado they kind of pull like a Spanish mackerel. All right, here's some grass mat again. Okay, a bunch of Almaco jacks. Let's put on a little bitty swim bait. I'll show you if I catch something. There's something busting bait. Yep, right there. They're falling behind of it, I believe. Yep, there we are. <laughs> Man, there's about a hundred of them down there. Good gracious, they just saw the boat too. Dang it. Man, there's like, I say a hundred, that's more like 50 dolphin down there. That was a lot of them. Oh, look at that, they're chasing. Oh, come on. <laughs> Got you this time. <laughs> there's a pretty one. Oh, yeah. We got some dinner now. We got some dinner now. He just choked that thing. So I ended up having to go real light. A little eighth ounce jig head and a small Berkeley Gulp three inch paddle tail. Let's find these dolphin again. It's gonna blind cast now until I see him jump up. <laughs> They're so fun. The good thing is the teeth that they do have aren't quite like scissors, like a, uh, like a Spanish is. So you can get away with a little bit lighter leader. There's one. That's a little bit better one. That's a little bit better fish. Oh, let's see them. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that's a small chicken like I've been catching. This one might be a larger one. Mm. Definitely, definitely might be a little bit larger fish. I haven't seen them yet. <clears throat> which is weird because usually dolphin would jump so this could be a bonita <laughs> i think it is a bonita i don't know yet here it comes up it's a nice one too is it ah oh what is that that's a bonita it's a little toony or false albacore that's cool see if we can bring him up i like to freeze these and use them for bait they're so fast uh, <laughs> and they're fun to catch y'all i was going to come out here and try to refish until i got on these things heck yeah Whew. check that out these are colloquially called a bonita but they're not like the ones in the atlantic they're actually little toony false albacore they're kind of on the bottom of the list of tuna species and mackerel species to eat but they still are edible really cool how fins can turn just like that see that that is really cool all their fins their dorsal their pectoral can get super flat just like all the other tuna and they can run 
Very fun to light tackle. See, ate that little jig. He's gonna go in the cooler. I save these for bait. You can't eat them when fresh and bled out. But like I said, I use them for bait. They have some amazing belly strips for trolling. Let's get them in the cooler and try to catch something else. Turn into a fun little afternoon. I think I just found the fish again. Let me make sure I don't have any frays in this leader. I'm just using some 50 pound mono. Let's see if I can get over here without scaring them away. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that was a long enough cast. Oh yeah, it was. I feel him hitting my lure. Oh, there, there. <laughs> Still got him. <laughs> Look at him going crazy. Oh man. <laughs> Another dolphin for the cooler. I'm just gonna keep a few of these because they are abundant. They're one of the fastest growing fish in the sea. These little dolphin will gain some weight pretty quick and get fairly big. So I'm gonna keep a few of these because they're not extinct here in the Gulf of Mexico and there's no limit on them. But let's throw him in the cooler. This is incredibly fun. Something I don't get to do too often. And I'm not far away either. Here we go. Let's see where you went. Oh, they're right here. There's another one. <laughs> They've got such pretty colors on them. Check it out. Another little chicken. But once you touch them and they bleed out like that, they're not going to survive releasing anyway. See how much they bleed out? That's a pretty little thing, ain't it? Make a good sandwich, taco, or just grilled up whole. So, <laughs> you gotta love them. They're such energetic fish. It's crazy how they can get so big. There they are over there. Oh, look at them there. I don't know if the camera can see that or not. But man, they're coming about six foot out of the air. Those fish are all over right here. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Y'all, these things are just some of the funnest light tackle type of fishing right here. Come on, put it on a show, man slid up super blue look at the color on that one. Oh, oh. <laughs> he fell and busted his head i guess he's gonna go in the cooler too cool little colors on him look how he turned just went from blue to this green color Let's throw him in the cooler it's not a bad little fish look, this thing don't even have a tail on it right now i bet i could jig it and get one i think i just saw him right there yep oh <laughs> see they'll hit almost anything you throw in the water like that boom <laughs> there we go y'all another little chicken dolphin see if he'll pop off wow they're so pretty there he goes he's going crazy look at all the other ones below him see that so many they like to stay with the hooked fish usually if you have another person on board you leave one in the water like this and then try to get someone else to cast out because look there's about 25 right here but what we're going to do with him throw him in the cooler nice fish i'm getting a load of fish there's so many of them out here oh they're chasing it this thing doesn't even have a tail left he's a little smaller i wish he would pop off right here <laughs> There he is. What a nice one. See if he'll pop off. If not, I think I can take my pliers, de hook him here. There he goes. I was going to get that de hooker out, but he gone. Now there's about 50 of them. Oh, I got one. He was the lucky one that got hooked. Or I guess I should say unlucky. Oh, that's a little bit prettier one. He's going to go in the cooler. That's a nice one for this size that's a really nice one I'm trying to get them to hold still good gracious dolphin see how crazy they get but look at that not a bad little fish here he's bleeding everywhere no sense throwing him back just to die let's throw him in the cooler y'all let me take a break real quick from catching just to show you the setup i'm using this is a daiwa saltis 2500 on a star plasma 2 seven foot medium heavy fast action rod i am running 15 pound braid coming to a black barrel swivel and a 50 pound mono leader. Now, primarily I've been throwing an eighth ounce jig head with one of these little Berkeley Gulp little mullets. This is a three inch, but I've also been throwing this Shimano Current Sniper jig too. This is a one ounce, but I like throwing jig heads with a single hook for most of these fish because they jump so much, they spit these trebles out a lot. And if you plan on releasing some, at least you don't tear them up as bad. But I'm going to cast this out a few more times, see if we can get a few more, and then move to some bottom fishing spots. Oh, they're way over there. I don't know if I can cast that far. 
Might be able to. Yeah, I did. That's what I like about throwing some heavy lead. They're chasing after it. I have one. There we go. <laughs> He's a little bitty one. <laughs> he just got up in all that grass. Now it's gonna turn from a one pound fish to a five pound fish. Y'all ever go flipping grass beds on a lake, catch a bass, and you're like, do I still have it? Here we go. <laughs> that was the same type of scenario. Really nice mahi. There you go, buddy. Oh yeah, he swam away just fine. Cool. If I keep him out of the water too long or really put a lot of pliers on their mouth, trying to get the hook out, I'll keep them at this point. But they are going crazy over there. Oh, <laughs> right by the boat. Mm. This is so fun. Come on, pop off. Boom, that's what I want. At this point, like I said, if they are not really injured too bad. Oh, dude, they're all over this place. Man, there's got to be at least 500 chicken dolphin hanging out. Because they're, they're going off like 200 yards. Wow, that was a hard hitter. A little bit better one. <laughs> they smack it like crazy dude it's insane come on pop off man oh, there we go that's all i'm going to be doing right now unless I, catch a, unless I find a real big one gonna be doing it real quick see which one wants to be faster <laughs> Oh, they're so funny. Ah, there you are. You gonna give me a jump? You gonna jump, buddy? Huh? No. <laughs> that jig might not come out of his mouth too easy. There we go. That's all you want. <laughs> See? I've caught a bunch. I'm going to give a few away to some friends, neighbors. So now it's just having fun. I mean, they're hitting my jig completely out of the water. Y'all, this is crazy. I mean, every cast. This is fun for everybody. Another dolphin. You going to get off? <laughs> he might not. He might need some pliers. It's a good way to get a hook in you. There you go shaking their head like that's a great way to go get a hook in your hand <laughs> way down there jump off jump off man jump off <laughs> there you go there you go see that makes life easy no need touching them at that point i don't know how many fish i've caught so far but it's been a lot that might be my buddy right there in his boat let's go see if it is yeah it is my buddy malik out here he was uh in one of my other videos a few of them but he's out in his new to him boat i shot him the corner and so i'm like dude come get on some dolphin while they're over here let's go say hey so i just got in my bottom spot we're going to take some of this frozen squid strips my other camera doesn't want to work anymore, so it's just going to be the head cam right now. If you have a pompano fish, it's pretty much a pompano rig, but with a little larger hooks and no floats or beads. This is a double drop chicken rig or refishing rig coming down to a loop with a two ounce bank sinker. Let's see if we can pull up something else we can take home. All righty, just got a fish on. Our first fish this evening on the squid Oh, on the little double drop. I was having a blast catching those chicken dolphin. Oh, it was almost hard to leave them biting because they were everywhere. But I do like to change it up a lot. So we're gonna bring him up. It is a trigger fish. He's gonna be undersized, I can already tell you that. Gotta let him go. All right, bud. There you go. Oh, okay. Good fish. So I took off the squid and just put on a piece of that cut finger mullet that I had. Because the squid was not producing anything. It was just getting eaten off. 
So now I got that finger mullet on there. Something pretty nice just grabbed it. <sighs> Not quite for sure what. Fighting hard. You know what? Could be a red snapper. <sighs> this is the exciting part though. That's what I enjoy about being out here is the thrill of not knowing what you're going to have on the end of your line. It is a red snapper. It's a nice one. Mm, that would be a keeper during the season. He's going to have to go on the descending device because he's kind of blown up. So this is a descending device. I've shown you how it worked in one of my last videos. That's what I'm going to hook him to. We're going to put him on this and get him down. There we go. He shouldn't be on that anymore. I don't know why my cameras are jacking up. I guess the heat's getting to him. Reel that three pound weight in and that fish shouldn't be on there. Nope. See it opened up. See, I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but it opened up and he's and he gone. Alright. Mm. Another fish on. <laughs> There we go. Let's get you up. Mm. You have some nice weight to them. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Oh. Okay, well, that was dumb. I think the dolphin just took it. I think, I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> okay. That was going to be the last thing I hooked into. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Don't know what it was, but that didn't last long with them bottlenose dolphin around. Y'all, we're going to make it back to the pass. What a beautiful evening out here on the Gulf of Mexico. Wow. I don't think you can get much prettier than that. It's time to go, y'all. Be a nice, easy ride back. See you back at the house. Also, I appreciate you for watching that video. Once again, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you to every single one of y'all that have subscribed to the channel and have watched the videos. And if you have not subscribed yet and enjoy the content like this, go smash it down below. It's free to do and it's fun to keep up with. And that is Ono over there wanting me to come inside. So y'all, I appreciate you as always. We'll see you on the next Bama Salt or Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later.